Nintendo is a company that hates anyone who plays their games because they don't let anyone have fun with their games if it's not strictly controlled by Nintendo. Point Crow, a gaming YouTuber, is a big Nintendo fan. He made a mod for Breath of the Wild that made it multiplayer and made some videos with this mod. Nintendo being Nintendo, then copyright claimed these videos and blocked anyone from watching them. When Point Crow appealed these claims, they decided to reject the appeals and that resulted in strikes on the video. And now these copyright claims have been elevated to strikes and if Point Crow continued to appeal, this could turn into a multi-million dollar lawsuit. But then a day later, Point Crow tried to resolve this issue with Nintendo with this email. After that email was sent, Nintendo claimed 24 more of his videos. Most of the videos have modded gameplay, but some don't, which is weird. Nintendo also took this opportunity to go on a rampage and nuke other videos from creators like Croton. The dumbest part about all of this is that on Nintendo's own website, they encourage creative input and commentary. If creating a mod from scratch to make content isn't creative input, I don't know what is. And yes, for those that know, The Legend of Zelda TOS says you can't mod the game, but it also says you can't stream or upload footage of the game. The guide for sharing Nintendo's game content are basically a correction for the Zelda TOS. So not even getting into the fair use argument, this is all within Nintendo's terms of service. But Nintendo doing this is actually just bad for their own company. Modding games keeps games alive for longer and generally makes people like you. Fallout New Vegas is a great example of this because this game is literally unplayable on a lot of computers without a mod. Modding has literally kept this game alive. GTA 5 also has a thriving mod scene. And yeah, cheating causes Rockstar issues, but the positives clearly outweigh the negatives when you have a huge channel like XQC playing your game for hundreds of of hours. Nintendo is just stuck in 1990 because a company spokesperson in 2019 said sending a fax gives Nintendo fans the emotional connection they have come to expect in all our offerings. Wow, I really feel the emotional connection. I think Nintendo also just really hates emulation because you need to emulate these games to modify them most of the time. And legally speaking, yes, Nintendo has the right to do whatever they want with their IPs, but this is not a courtroom. This is the internet. And people tend not to care if you're legally in the right. In my personal opinion, I think it's obvious that if you release games on a console that can't even run them at 30 FPS, people are gonna emulate them. Why would people pay $70 for a slideshow when they can emulate it? All of this is happening because Nintendo is incompetent. Instead of getting with the times, they insist on taking their own grade. Of course, Nintendo won't die easily or quickly. They have a lot of diehard fans, but most of them grew up in Nintendo games when they ran well and didn't look like this. If I played Breath of the Wild on a Switch when I was 12, I would hate Nintendo because my lasting memory of the game would be a literal headache from trying to focus on that stuttery mess. And the worst thing about the situation with Point Crow and other creators like Croton is that if they get three strikes, their channel is gone. Nintendo is basically holding them hostage with how many strikes they currently have. And if Nintendo really cared that they made a multiplayer mod, they would have actually taken Point Crow to court because they've done that before. That is not a foreign concept to them at all. From what I can tell, they just don't want people emulating their games, which I understand. But please, if you want people to stop emulating the Switch, update the Switch. There are phones now more powerful than that console. But that's been the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe if you're new. And click the Instagram channel to check out more of my content and have a good one.